Hello, I'm Gretchen O'Hara, Vice President of AI and Sustainability Strategy at Microsoft, and I'd like to thank IdeaGen for inviting me here today to speak about two of my greatest passions, emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence or AI, and creating a sustainable change in our world. First, I'd like to reflect on what's possible. Can you imagine a world where you can preserve endangered species, where you can optimize healthcare for those most needing it, or where you can help those with autism get better employment opportunities? Those scenarios can all be possible now with artificial intelligence, and we believe that AI is a critical tool in creating sustainable change in this world. There are often misconceptions about what is AI. At the core, the term of AI refers to a broad range of technologies that really can perceive images and sounds and understand them. It can learn from these inputs and interactions and get better over time. It has the ability to reason over large amounts of data to identify patterns that we may not be able to see ourselves. And together, these represent a huge shift in the technology. We used to have to learn how to use machines, but now they can learn from us. Despite all this progress and potential, AI is probably one of the least understood technologies we have today. And that isn't surprising because AI isn't something that you can see or touch, and you may not even realize that you're actually using it. In fact, most of us are probably relying on technology that uses AI every day without even really knowing it. So why is AI so important? At Microsoft, we talk about our culture and our mission-driven purpose all the time. Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And so when we talk about empowering people, we mean that with the right tools, anyone can become anything. And we believe that AI is a game-changing tool that can be potentially solve some of the most pressing problems of both our society, our economy, and essentially our planet. We recognize that these challenges facing us today are incredibly difficult, and we still see where there's greatest innovations and achievements in this world have come from adversity. Recognizing the need to address these challenges as well as human adversity, the United Nations created the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, as a blueprint to mobilize efforts by all societal sectors and to ensure that no one is left behind as we take these bold steps forward. These goals are bold, they're ambitious, they're hard, but think of these 17 goals as a North Star and a single source of truth for environmental, social, and economic governance that organizations and governments around the world use as they progress in their journey for sustainable change. While these goals are an anchor for how organizations progress individually, we've learned that they also get in a way of traction when they come together. A primary focus for Microsoft has been sustainability, and we have been committed to becoming carbon negative by 2030. In addition, we are investing in AI solutions to address global environmental issues, as outlined by the SDGs, and we call this program AI for Earth. An AI for Earth example is iNaturalist, which identifies species from crowdsourced images to give conservationists real-time insight on how distributions are responding to environmental changes. Estimates show that without action, 38% of these species on Earth could be extinct by the end of the century. And as species die out, key ecosystem services that humans depend on will also collapse. And so preventing species loss requires vast amount of data on when and where plant, animal, and fungi species occur. But deploying trained observers to every corner of the world just isn't really possible. And that's where iNaturalist comes in. iNaturalist, an app supported by the California Academy of Sciences and National Geographic Society, gives citizen scientists worldwide the ability to collect expert-level wildlife observations. When a user takes a picture of a species, iNaturalist uses AI with computer vision models to suggest the species depicted on the photo. Scientists and conservationists can use this data to see when populations are shifting, when pest invasions occur, how species are reacting to the changing environment in real time and other critical challenges that AI can address are related to the societal SDGs. And in particular, during the pandemic, optimizing healthcare resources is just a paramount concern. 
Providence, a healthcare system with 51 hospitals and more than 1,085 clinics, is headquartered in Washington State, near the epicenter of the first major U.S. COVID-19 outbreak. Providence created an AI-based chatbot to triage patients and answer their questions, freeing providers to give attention to the patients who needed it most. Leveraging its strategic collaboration with Microsoft and the Chief Digital Office's data science team, Providence implemented and configured Microsoft's Azure Health Bot, an AI-based virtual assistant solution with voice and chat capabilities to support COVID-19 assessment and FAQs based on CDC guidelines. Azure Health Bot has since been adopted by several thousand healthcare providers, the U.S. Center of Disease Control Prevention, the CDC, NGOs, and the international health authorities. Through the power of AI and data science, the Providence chatbot known as Grace has undergone an agile evolution to keep up with the needs of the communities it serves, from first identifying COVID-19 symptoms, testing sites, and CDC recommendations, to now helping with the vaccine rollout and the latest CDC guidelines. As I stated earlier, Microsoft's mission is ensuring opportunity for all, and AI for accessibility is helping to expand economic access for those facing physical as well as neurological challenges. The first Center for Autism and Innovation at the Vanderbilt University School of Engineering brings engineers, business scholars, disability researchers together with experts in neuroscience and education to really understand, maximize, and promote neurodiverse talent. The project illustrated here and supported by Microsoft is an interactive prototype of a virtual reality job interview. It's designed to help prepare autistic job applicants for a real interview. As a user engages with the AI-based program, it takes measurements of the user's anxiety level and engagement from eye contact with a virtual interviewer. It can also adapt to the user and can adjust the difficulty of questions to gradually improve interview skills and influence the user's comfort level. By expanding accessibility, it is our goal to improve the opportunities for those with autism and address the economic SDGs. When we think about using AI to drive sustainable change, we're always considering the next generation. Given we are here at the IdeaGen Summit, it's great to highlight an amazing education initiative they have developed in partnership with Summer Discovery and Microsoft called the IdeaGen Future Global Leaders Academy Online. This program is a pre-college academic enrichment program open to grades nine through 12 to create a new platform for fostering the growth of global youth leaders. IdeaGen offers a two-week course through the Summer Discoveries virtual campus and also includes a scholarship program for underserved and underprivileged students. This is such a game changer. It's a game-changing opportunity for students to gain insight and perspective into the 17 global goals and to work in collaboration with teams to develop solutions to achieve the goals by 2030. Working with Microsoft, students are also encouraged to employ AI technologies to accelerate solutions that will address the SDGs and enable them to become leaders in this emerging field. It's exciting to hear from the first cohort of students and we couldn't be more excited about the future opportunity here. So in closing, I ask you all, what can you do, your business and your community, really to do and lift up others during this difficult time? I ask you to personally commit to a sustainable future for all. And I also encourage you to learn more about artificial intelligence, AI technologies, and the UN's SDGs. As you are participating in this IdeaGen Summit, focused both on AI, the cloud, and SDGs, it's definitely a fantastic place to start. Finally, I ask you all to act, get involved, Take that first step. Identify what role you can play in using AI technology to address UN SDGs and really create sustainable change. Thank you all for joining me today. It's all about connection. It's all about the power of this network. Let's connect, let's network, let's learn from each other. It certainly takes a village. And I'm happy to continue this dialogue with you. And I encourage you to reach out to me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. Let's learn together and let's have this dialogue together. Thank you so much again for joining and enjoy the rest of the day.